I had a reminder today, and you are the perfect people to um, tell the story to. I was um, kind of half napping in nature, listening to some some lectures. I always love to have some some philosopher in the background throwing around big sentences. <laughs> um, and one of those was that there was this accident somewhere. I'm not sure what it was, but it uh, made a lot of people have to be in, in the water for a long time, just floating and swimming and keeping themselves um, alive just by being in the water until they were either rescued or something, I don't know. And there was a lot of people and only a few of them made it. And the lesson was that there weren't people that straight up had the energy to maintain that survival energy up until the end point fully. Like somebody who was just this terminator warrior from the start to finish. There were people that gave up and drowned. And there were people that survived, but nobody, there wasn't one person that didn't have moments of wanting to give up. And luckily, not everyone had that moment at the same moment, because that would have been horrible. But there was always one or two people that were strong in those moments when some of the people in the group surviving were saying i can't do this anymore i can't do this anymore and when they were interviewed they said that they didn't they wanted to give up because they either didn't think that they had strength but mind over matter the, like the the body can endure so much more um than you think if you pull it out of your butt at the last second and stephanie i'm not even halfway done <laughs> um my point is always uh double the time that you think the story is lasting so that's one of the main reasons why uh people can't stand me because they they just think okay okay so now you've gotten to the point, and I'm like, nah, nah, the, this is just getting started. <laughs> I'm telling a story. <laughs> and then, um, so half of them didn't think there is no rush. Half of them thought that, the po that their body couldn't make it, but the other half started having this belief that even if they make it, like, what is their contribution to the world? What are what what's what one what can one person do? Like they would say, "Oh, I have no kids. I have no friends. I'm not contributing to anyone." Blah blah, all these kinds of things. And then what what the people would say to them was that there is definitely some group of people that is counting on them but they have either forgotten or they haven't met them yet or even more stretched out than that those people are not even born yet maybe it's their future children maybe it's the future children in a daycare that they're gonna influence maybe it's the future children of 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 a dojo for martial arts that they're gonna run and those were the things that pulled them out. Especially the ones that, that like, maybe you're going to influence people you haven't even met yet. Or the ones that were even not even born. So that's one of the things that I sometimes talk to with people on lives that, that come. And what, sometimes when I do Q&As, I don't do Q&As uh, that often anymore. Um, maybe, it's, maybe they'll come back. Um... But when I used to do Q&As and people would come with depression and tell me like, like I've tried everything, I have no reason to live, all these things. And then my question would be, okay, have you ever moved to another country? Have you ever changed your environment? Have you ever tried playing tennis? Have you ever tried this type of job? Have you ever tried this type of diet? 
Have you ever moved to the other side of the world into a completely new climate? And if any of those is a no, or like let alone if most of these are a no, then it's not like you, you, you tried everything and then you can say there's nothing else for me out here. Like, I, like life's not worth living. I can just say that you, you haven't tried almost nothing in this life. You, you've met so little people, you've been to so little places, you haven't tried so many sports, you haven't tried so many careers, you haven't tried so many diets. How do you know that you want to end your life? If somebody, would, if somebody would come to me with, let's say they, they want to commit suicide or something, like, you, 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 there's so many things you haven't still tried. Because so many things we think with our minds, this is not for me. But people discover their passions almost all, only when they actually try to do something. If you never played tennis, if you never took a racket in your hands and played tennis, you have no idea if that's the best thing you ever done in your life. Somebody might ask you, do you ever play tennis? And you might say, no, God forbid, I would never do that. And maybe somewhere inside of you, your innate destiny was to be world champion at tennis, but you never even tried. And then imagine how many other things are there except for sports. And these are just things that you can just pick up tomorrow. Go and pick up a racket and try it. Surfing, cycling, skydiving, it doesn't have to be anything extreme. It can be going to a part of the city that you're living in that you've never been. And most, of, most people live in such huge cities and they stick to their neighborhoods. Maybe you never talk to another minority because you have stereotypes about minorities. Maybe you never talk to somebody from another country if you're from a small country that has never seen people outside. So that's one point of discovering that or, and just realizing that the world is so huge, so huge. That the, even if you start today and you are 15 and you want to travel the world and meet everyone and see all the cultures, you probably won't be able to see everything, even if you try. Rare are the people that have been to every country. Rare are the people that have spoken to every single person, like every single nation and race and culture. And those are the people that actually tried. And then let alone, you know, saying, oh, this is all there is. No, <laughs> no, it's not even 2%. So that's one, one point from the story that I wanted to talk about. The other point is that in the middle of that nap, I was like, oh yeah, there's this thousand and a half people on Inside Timer on my profile and maybe 50 of those, but let's say to be sure, like 30 of you are regulars. And let's say 50 come often. So you are, you, you are 50 people that every day you show up here. So if, if somebody would say to me, do you have people that count on you? Do you have people that you're needed? I would say, yeah. I would immediately say, yeah. So I just wanted to share that. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, share your story below. Check out my audio courses, Human Design, Basics, Intermediate, Projector Masterclass, other human design that will come out. Check out the Elemental Balancing audio course. They're all available on the Insight Timer app where you are also invited to join the course classroom. In there, you can ask questions and get direct voice messages from me and also engage with other students, share your feedback and insights and further your learning. For one-on-one -on -one human design coaching and psychotherapy, send an inquiry through the website. Join us on the Insight Timer live sessions where we do fascia and qigong stress release classes. Check out my art and merch web shop full of my original designs ready to be printed on shirts, notebooks and many other products. Download my free ebooks and join my newsletter to stay connected and get updates and content in your email. Everything mentioned is available at iCreatelines.com. Peace, health, and abundance.